Welcome to the channel. I got uh, a lot from auction today. There it is, and it's a whole bunch of uh, 450 Martini Henry brass, and um, most of it turned out to be NDFS. So that's this stuff. That's uh, a gentleman that made this modern. I think it's spun instead of stamped out. Normal brass is you stamp it out and you start with a, a sort of flat shape and then you have a hydraulic press and you form a cup and then it goes through its various stages. So it's kind of like pulled brass. I'm just gonna do these uh, NDFS ones. I've, uh, I've kind of polished them up a bit and uh, I thought we'd now uh, head them up together. Now, first thing first, this is not gonna use the standard uh, 7 8 die this is going to use the larger one and a quarter inch die so we're going to take our insert out i also hasten to add that these are all fired and i don't know if i would trust these cases so turn them into a nerd spot. so next we have our full sizing die here you are in you get And we have a, a nice big shell holder, number 24, number 22, I stand corrected. In you go. We will get some resizing lube and we'll resize, put some of that on here on each case. Not too much or the lube will, uh, will create its own little liquid barrier and you can actually deform the brass. But just enough, just a nice gentle amount there you go that was pretty clean I think these are largely sized already to tell you the truth but we'll do it anyway for form's sake so we'll do that one next now the bullets I'm using today are paper patched this is uh, another lot I bought at auction I mean you can do those yourself they're not overly complicated there's uh, discussion on the type of paper you use but I don't think it makes that large a difference there are quite a few 450 Martini Henry rifles out there, so you know, enthusiasts will shoot this. Um, I've known quite a few people who've done this. I think they're always quite enthusiastic when it starts, but well, realistically you should use uh, a black powder for these. I think the, uh, the novelty leaves them quite quickly, you know, once you've fired it a few times. The excitement is uh, matched by the cleaning and then all of a sudden um, the idea of uh, shooting these for the years to come kind of falls into the uh, into the long brass all right so we full-sized all of these we can now clean these up of course i won't be doing that manually i'll be using my little drill i have an 8x57 jrs case in here and the reason for that is that i can take these and i can put them on top And that way we can clean the whole case nice and easy and when we're done we'll just pull that off i'll show you one closer to the camera so you just take one you put it on top of your case your existing case and then with a bit of tissue that'll clean it up just fine i shouldn't have used the rim case of rim case of course but it's whatever you have at hand so now we full size all of them these and they're nice and clean again now we will flare them and for that I have an expanding, a powder through expanding die. Let's see how we do there. Nice little flare. Not too much. That looks pretty good. And of course these paper patched bullet add a whole level of fragility to the Enterprise. You have to be very careful or you will just separate the paper skirt from the lead bullet as you fit these. So you know, caution is advised. We are ready to head up there but I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to remove all these heads again and I'm just very briefly, I'm going to deburr all these guys. Because I've noticed in the past, if you are unlucky, the crimp will literally cut the paper and the front of your paper patch round will unravel. And by putting a little bit of bevel on, I'll draw you a picture. Oh, I forgive the terrible picture, but here we are. This is your box standard uh, case and 
the top of it is flush. And when we be bend it in, when we uh, uh, crimp it, we're going to bend the sides in and we end up with sharp corners that might cut the uh, paper. Whereas if we deburr the front, we actually smooth out the sides a little bit. And although that makes them sharper, when we uh, crimp this in place, by uh, bending these sharp points in, we hopefully end up with something that is more flat. And by doing that, we won't end up with something that looks like this, which is when basically the crimp has cut the paper. So all I do, this is the lime and deburring tool, a very good piece of kit because it has a central spindle and that allows you to basically mount it in your drill jack and then deburring becomes nice and easy. Time to seat them all. So out comes this guy, that's our uh, powder through expanding die. And out comes our seating and uh, crimp die. And as ever in a situation like that, I will take one of my previous examples. And that'll help me seat it so that everything remains the same. Only I don't want crimp yet. I want crimp to be an entirely separate operation because if we crimp while we push you're still pushing the bullet up as the crimp comes in and for paper patched bullet that's quite a dangerous little affair so in we go we will make sure our head is nice and straight that looks good and then we will gently seat it that's good yeah That's good. I thought I'd uh, capture this just briefly because um, I think it wants explaining the, the crimp that I'm after. So this is a, a box standard resized case and we can see that we have a nice perfectly straight lick. And if we now go to one of the cases that we have finished, we can see that the straight line is interrupted first here because that is the seating depth of the bullet that we have uh, uh, belt the case to. And secondly, at the very top, you can just see that the uh, the line here jumps off to the side, and that is the line of the crimp. So we really don't want an uh, aggressive crimp. We want a nice, gentle crimp that won't uh, break through the patch and that uh, will hold the head securely without uh, destroying it effectively. If you have a, a modern sort of rifle round, you can put any mad crimp on it, doesn't matter. I mean, worst case, you might deform the uh, head slightly, but it'll be after the ogive, and it really won't matter that much. So, you know, people have become very rough with their crimping, but for something like this, you really need to have a gentle touch. And um, that's why these take so much longer to make, because you need to, you need to measure the crimp for each of these cases individually that you end up with a nice gentle crimp. So here's another one. We have a nice gentle crimp. You can see it. So instead of this shininess carrying through all the way to the top, it does, it does diffuse there, the light diffuses there. So that's then is our 450 uh, Martini Henry, 450 Martini Henry NDFS uh, case, which has a 405 grain uh, bullet with a paper patch. And that then is our, fi our finished round. And this is as close as we can come to this particular round. The, uh, the original brass is very, very hard to find. And um, this is really all that is left. And these cases already, you're looking at about 10 pound ago. The original military brass, incidentally, of these used to be really thin. They were almost like foil, a, a soft material. So when we're done, we have our, our six Martini Henry cases. I... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, we will see you for the next one. Until then, bye bye.